Now that the working directory is hopefully set up and assigned, it's useful to look at some of the global options that are available in SCAL. Under File and Global Options, you'll see a few options here to be able to change the layout and graphical user interface to suit any types of user. First, as you can see, the layout is done with a black uh, black background colouring and then the items will be white. You can actually change this around so you can change the black on white or white on black colour scheme by clicking the option here under Global Options and in doing so you'll notice the colour changes. Also there is a colour blind setup. Basically if you are colour blind and you want to be able to change the green and yellow you can do that uh, because some of the calibrations is, as default will be green and in which case it will change the yellow so it's easier for users which are colorblind to be able to view the calibrations. The reverse the file order, basically what that does is when you go into file currently and then load, it will load the items in a numeric order from starting as the lowest value. If you do that, basically go to Global Options and change the reverse file order. What it will then do is it will actually flip the values around under File Load and it will start on the higher end. The last option, the floating mouse focus, basically this just allows to be able to see the mouse icon that's being used in dialogues, etc. I use that a lot just because it's easy to see exactly where my mouse pointer is. And I prefer to have it with the black scheme so I can change that back to how I like it.